making a difference in the community can be a daunting prospect. So the fact that our next guests have been doing that and are only teenagers is even more impressive. Yep, sisters Caitlin and Chloe Kim join us now to share all the details about their very own organization, Wellness Box. Good morning, guys. Welcome How are you doing? Good morning. Thank you for having us. We're very excited to have you on. Um, clearly, you guys are still in school and you've done this. Mm -hmm. But before we get on to everything else, what was the moment that, that made it for you guys to decide, you know, we need to do this, we need to implement this, we need to start this organization? What happened? What, what, what transpired to make you get to this point? So when I was 15 years old, I actually watched a documentary surrounding period poverty. And for those of you who are unfamiliar into what period poverty is, it's the inability to afford menstrual products. And this actually affects one in 10 menstruating youth. And when you cannot afford menstrual products, many times these youth can't go to school and they miss school or some even impregnate themselves to just avoid their period altogether. And as someone in high school, and I started this when I was 15, this really spoke to me because these are my peers. And these are people who are the same age as me, sometimes even younger. And all I want to do is just help them in any way that I can. I love that. And you know, you're absolutely right. You know, and, and these these products can be so expensive. And so for someone to be able to, you know, have access to this is wonderful. So talk to us about the wellness box. Yeah, so um, do you want to talk about what's in yeah, it? Yeah, so um, we distribute these boxes. There's period products like pads and tampons in them. There's also cosmetic products, and we also have like soap, toothbrushes, hair brushes. So what, what, have you partnered with some local companies? Mm -hmm. Is there you know, a pharmacist that you guys rely on? Do you go for donations? How exactly are we sourcing the products for the box? You know, who, who's assisting the foundation and, and who do we need to give a shout out to for that? Yeah, so we've had, when we first started out, our family and friends helped us fund. And we've also had people reach out to us on social media. Um, we've received donations and we've partnered up with homeless shelters like Project 150 and um, Las Vegas Rescue Mission and more. Wonderful. So we know, you know, tackling any sort of business, organization, idea can be really challenging sometimes. So how, what are some of the challenges that you guys are facing and how are you overcoming them? Um, yeah, so it was challenging because this was our first time doing something like this. So it was challenging just to figure out the whole process and start out by getting funding and resources. Are, are you guys are you guys looking for people to help you, you know, continue this mission? You know, clearly we're seeing these these packing parties that you guys put together with people coming to put boxes together. Do you use friends? You know, are, are, can people organize their own charitable events and contact you to do, you know, boxing parties and that kind of thing to, to help out? Yeah, of course. So we partnered with SRN Woman and they helped us with the packing parties, but we've also had people reach out wanting to start their own sort of chapter and to get into contact with us you can go to our website which is in our Instagram bio the Wellness Box Foundation. Wonderful so what have you learned from from these experiences you know going through creating a foundation putting these boxes together you know reaching out to the community what are some things that you've taken away from this? So something that was interesting is we actually moved to Vegas two years ago, so we're pretty new to the Las Vegas community. And I just thought it was so amazing of how welcoming everyone is and how much everyone just wants to help. Like we've had people reach out saying, oh, I'm, we own a lash salon, we want to help, we can give you some of our profits. Just little things like that. It's just amazing how welcoming the Las Vegas community is and how much that not only do they want to help their community, but they want to help even like the little foundations, and I just thought that was really wonderful. So every, every little foundation is is as important as a big foundation. <laughs> this is an important cause, like you said. One in tell, one in one in ten, uh, you know, of your peers are affected by this. What what are your plans for the future? What do you have planned, and what do you what do you want from the foundation? How do you want it to grow? Honestly, we just want to help as many people as possible. That was our ultimate goal. Anyone we can help, any every single person that we can touch, more with through our foundation is a win for us and honestly that's all we want to do just help our community you guys are an inspiration yes, and doing absolutely incredible work. inspirational thank, thank you. you both so much for joining us this morning thank you for having yeah. and for more information on how you can help make a difference visit the wellnessboxfoundation.com